Oh, hey man, can I get... Can I get the uh, two-piece rolled chicken taco, uh, chicken enchilada burrito, and your strawberry twists, and just for old time's sake, throw in a Mexican pizza there. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that for you, sir. Um, I am required to tell you, though, this is a new legal thing. Um, that is more calories than the average person burns uh, running an ultra marathon. Are you still, you still want that? Yeah. Yeah, but I did go on like a pretty good walk today, so. Okay. Um. Well, that'll be three forty-three. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Coco's Create. I'm Coleman. I am here having a just just an absolutely lovely day. Um, I am here um, munching on some Taco Bell today. Um, Taco Bell has released a slew of new items, and they're releasing even more all the time. I mean, these guys are constantly coming out with stuff. They're not always the most innovative, um, but they are, you know, they are, they are interesting um, sometimes. And, you know, you got to give them creds for trying, right? You got to give them creds for trying. So today, we have three items. We have rolled chicken tacos. So those are more like taquitos, at least from the way the ad is presented. That's what it seems like to me. Uh, we have a uh, chicken enchilada burrito. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Chicken enchilada burrito. And then strawberry twists. So they have their cinnamon twists that I think are terrible. I think those are so bad. Um, but now there's strawberries. So maybe they'll be better. But um, we'll see. So um, I'm just going to... I think these strawberry twists are in here. Because this bag is really light. Um, ugh, ripping their stickers off. They, they put a sticker on it saying that they have breakfast. Yeah. Strawberry twister in there. We'll save those for dessert. Um, and then in here, um, let's see. Maybe. I think that's going to be, no, no, no. I think this is my soft potato taco that I got because I like to eat the soft potato taco. Um, <laughs> and then I believe this one's going to be our chicken uh, enchilada burrito, and this is our rolled chicken tacos. Let's start with these. These kind of seem like the showstopper events. So let's, uh, these are the ones that are really unique. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's pull these bad boys out. Um, they're crisp. They're pretty crisp. Um, I was kind of half expecting them to be super soggy. They smell good. They smell like the toaster oven taquitos. Um, and I like the toaster oven taquitos. There's also spicy ranch um, that comes with it. You can do spicy ranch, guacamole, or queso. I just wanted spicy ranch. That was the default one when I clicked add this to my order. So I figured that was the one they wanted me to use. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. And uh, let's take a bite raw, and then we'll dip it in the sauce. We'll give our thoughts. We'll move on. Cheers. Mmm. I hope you guys could hear the crunch. I don't know. You probably couldn't. Um... But the ends in particular, the middle bit wasn't like as crunchy. It was still nice, but it wasn't like, Ugh. but the end bit, super crunchy. Let's go ahead and go for a dip here. Go for a little dip in the pool. Cheers. I did not pay attention to the price of these. I will say, all of this together was like $7.49. I think these are a dollar. I think this was $2. And this was the most expensive at like 4 maybe. Um, so all of this together was like $7, $7.99, maybe $7.50, somewhere around there. So um, just to kind of give you an idea of how much this meal cost. Mmm. Okay, I don't know. That's a winner. Um, that item as a whole is quite good, but the spicy ranch. This is the at least it's the first time that I'm aware of Taco Bell doing spicy ranch. Maybe they released it with an item before I was really in the reviewing game. Um, 
but that's quite nice. Um, the taquitos or the grilled chicken tacos um, are also pretty good. Um, I like them a lot. This you get too, but you can order them in a four pack and I believe they have like a, a combo meal with them if you want to get it with some other stuff. Um, those are nice. They have a really good, again, a really nice crunch to them. Um, the actual taste is nice. Um, the kind of inside has like a nice like gooey sounds like a bad word, but like gooey kind of um, with like that solid chunks of chicken. Not solid, it's shredded chicken, but you know, you get the gist. Um, I'd rate that like uh, pretty high. I think that's a great new addition to the menu, although it is limited time, of course. Um, and I think I'd rate that like a uh, probably like a 9.6 out of 10. I think that was quite good. Um, if the whole thing had the crunch that the ends had, oh, 10 out of 10. Here's our chicken enchilada burrito. I don't actually know too much about this one. Uh, I know it's got chicken. Um, I think there's like a verde sauce in there. We're gonna find out together. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, not a verde sauce, but. Hmm. Chicken's really good. Chicken's really tender. Um, it's juicy. Um, they got some nice flavoring on there. Uh, I can't, can't really place the exact flavors, but, uh, some nice flavoring. And also they, they like got a nice chunk of cheese and sour cream there, which, uh, which brings like a nice kind of airiness to it. Um, mm. Yeah, some sort of red, um, kind of almost smoky, a little bit barbecuey maybe? I don't know. It's a familiar flavor, so I feel like they've used this sauce before, um, but I can't place my finger on it, or my tongue. Um, can't place that on it, but... This is quite yummy. I quite like munching on that bad boy. I give this like a... I give that like a 7.8 out of 10. It's not quite as revolutionary as the rolled chicken tacos. Um, but it is nice. I think it has a nice taste to it. Um, I think a little bit... They're relying a little too much on the... This is rare. But I think they're relying a little too much on the cheese and sour cream. Because usually you don't you feel like you're not getting enough cheese. Um, I feel like they're kind of relying on that versus their, uh, like, actual flavoring there, uh, the actual, like, sauce that the chicken's marinated in, which I think is quite good. So I'd like to get more of that flavor um, versus just sour cream and cheese. I can get that with any item I eat. Now, here we go. Strawberry twist. They look, they look very similar to the classic twists, um, but they're a little bit more pink. They smell strawberry um, which I feel like the cinnamon twists don't have any flavor and they're like putting styrofoam in your mouth. So let's see if these are a little bit better. I assume they'll have the same texture, but if they have the flavor, then that's fine. I can work with the texture. But let's find out. Cheers. Oh, they got flavor all right. If the cinnamon twists had this flavor on them, they'd be a 10 out of 10. They'd be such a good item. Um, but they don't is the problem. Um, I will say, maybe it's just the specific items that I have here now, but this isn't a dessert that really pairs with anything on the Taco Bell menu from what I can think. It's a very, it's like a light flavor. Uh, it's fruity. Fruity doesn't really pair with any of this stuff that they create. Um, all their stuff is like heavy cheese, meat, and like some sort of strange sauce, you know. Uh, none of those things I pair with the strawberry flavor. So I think my taste buds are a little bit confused doing this review. But the strawberry flavor itself is nice. Um, I think it tastes good. 
I think the texture works better with this because you have more, uh, like, flavor. Because I get, I don't mind the styrofoam. I said styrofoam texture. That might be a little harsh. But um, I don't mind, like, the, um, the, like, crunchy texture, you know, um, when there's flavor to it. Otherwise, you're just eating nothing. Um, but I think this works really well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if I had to rate that one on a scale of 1 to 10, I think standalone, I'm doing standalone item. I'm not comparing it with the rest of their menu or anything. Um, I'm imagining I just went, I ordered this, I'm eating just this. I'd give this like a, uh, I think I'd give this like an 8 out of 10. I think they really managed to kind of come up with the flavor that they're missing on the cinnamon twist. I think it's a nice strawberry flavor, and they got a nice crunch to them. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, that's really all I have to say. I mean, we reviewed a lot of items here very quickly. Um, but, that's all I have to say. So, if you like that, go ahead and drop a like. If you didn't like this video, it's okay to drop that dislike. But, let me know what you didn't like about it, so I can fix it in the next video. If you're like, Coleman, don't disrespect my cinnamon twist like that. I'll be like, you're lying to yourself. You know that has no flavor. But... Uh, just let me know so I can make these videos better for you. If you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of whatever I post, whatever it is, be the first one there. Make sure you ring that little dinger bell. Boom! There's the Taco Bell bell is under there. You just can't really see it. Boom! Just like that. And YouTube will uh, give you a notification of whatever I post, whatever it is. You can be the first one there. Comment first, all that good stuff. If you look in the description, you'll find links to the Coco's Create Instagram, Coco's Create TikTok, and Coco's Create Twitter. We're posting little updates, little videos, stuff like that. So if you're craving a little bit more extra Coco's content, those are the places to go. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!